here is a pair of ACG locates and I've been trying to sort of search for a good sort of sneaker to, to wear when I'm on holiday and basically you know doing kind of sort of activities where you're kind of out and about and walking through different sort of terrain so whether that's sort of mud uh, grass sand etc etc and walking on sort of hills and mountains and that kind of stuff and I've been kind of looking at trail shoes really and then this one sort of uh, stuck out to me well, because of the fact that it's kind of very sort of trainer like and I sort of prefer that sort of more sort of being more comfortable but uh, I've also got a black pair of these and I picked them up both of them in the sale for I think 40 pounds each which is really cheap and they are they kind of do the job don't get me wrong they're actually really nice and really good to sort of wear and sort of hard wearing because of the fact that they've got this kind of big midsole and then the outsole as well with this kind of triangular sort of shaped traction it's uh it, it works really well and i didn't have no issues when i've been walking around in these and they seem fine i think the only thing is is the comfortability it's, it's fine it's really good i wouldn't say it's as good as a salmon uh i prefer the salmons but they're all almost sort of double the price so you kind of pick and choose what you know what you want to to wear in terms of sort of cost value ratio and at the end of the day these are going to get tanked anyway but i also managed to pick up a pair of the salamons for like less than half price so that's the reason i sort of tried those and basically this is a nice one if you if you're sort of on a budget and kind of don't want to spend too much money this is a nice one and, and you kind of want a more trainer like versus a sort of a, a shoe however this is not going to keep you protected against the rain and any kind of wet really because this is mesh material but i don't mind that i kind of just prefer something to be sort of breathable especially when you're walking around and kind of more in, if you like in the hot weather i think in sort of anything that's sort of more on a colder environment you obviously want to dress up appropriately for that and more than likely you'll probably wear something which is more got a sort of quilting material anyway but if you want to sort of pick something up on a budget and you kind of want a trail shoe then i won't, wouldn't sort of hesitate for grabbing one of these So here are the details for the Nike ACG Locate Wolf Grey Navy. It comes in a Wolf Grey Navy Grey Fog and Summit colorway. And it has a EVA midsole. And it basically has uh, some sort of uh, Nike technology which is called Trail Frame. And that basic is a plate that sits above the midsole and it's mainly for uh, any kind of heavy loading and uh, heavy lifting that you're doing really. So it kind of gives you more sort of stability. And it has a sort of all synthetic upper materials and there is some uh, uh, suede on there as well, but they kind of feel more sort of on the synthetic side. The price was £110. So in terms of comfort and sizing, I feel these have a, a firm sole that's not really um, any kind of give really. And I suppose in, if you're sort of walking and hiking, it's probably good for, for that. And it has sort of good arch support. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's good enough to kind of get you through. And there's no wear in time because of the sort of synthetic upper really. And you can go true to size in, in, in my eyes. I, th I think if you only got a wide foot, you might want to go up sort of half a size, but it's, it's basically fits, well, fits really well. And they have sort of, I think, great grip for all types of weather. The, the outsole is uh, very thick and basically will sort of provide you good grip, especially sort of for things like hiking. In terms of the look and style, this uh, basically hiking shoe, if you want to call it that, or sort of hybrid. It's got more kind of sort of trainer aesthetics and that's kind of what I like about it. It's uh, I, I don't really like wearing sort of big sort of hiking shoes which are sort of heavy and uh, really kind of sort of weigh you down and it's kind of in, in my eyes I feel like if you're sort of walking a lot you kind of want something that's uh, just more comfortable really and uh, obviously it's not going to protect you from any kind of heavy uh, kind of loads and things like that that you're lifting and, and, and you know if you're dropping on your toes and it's not going to protect you in that sense and that's probably why you'd want to wear a sort of really hard wearing boot but in the respects of just sort of walking around and doing some hiking it's uh, it's, it's, it's fine in that respect and uh, basically you can wear these in my opinion sort of spring autumn winter the reason why I sort of say spring as well is because it's got the breathable mesh so it should be feel comfortable I kind of wore them uh, in really hot weather and they sort of performed fine 
and uh, basically with these because they've got the kind of trainer aesthetic and slightly sort of on the shoe looking side they are quite sort of chunky but you can kind of, kind of dress up casual and maybe sort of smart casual as well because of the fact that it's more of a sort of shoe slash uh, smarter trainer in that respect and you can go sort of the grey navy and white laces that come with it in terms of the pros I think it's great for hiking so it's uh, one of those uh, trainers or shoes if you, or whatever you want to call it is basically in the in between where it's, it's giving you more sort of lightweight but uh, and less sort of hard wearing materials but the fact that it's lightweight and more breathable it means that you can sort of wear it for a lot longer period of time and feel sort of comfortable and I like the fact it's got sort of hard wearing materials and the mesh itself is kind of quite sort of hard wearing and uh, sort of got that kind of sort of nylon-y scratchy material that I think will last a, a long time and uh, and it's basically like I said it's more like a trainer so I kind of like that and the grip I think the grips are really good on these I think uh, they they perform very well so in terms of the cons I think the cost uh, the price is slightly too high 110 pounds but it's not bad but it should be a bit cheaper in my opinion and uh, what I didn't like and I just felt a bit of a sort of grazing on my sort of big toe was the the textured insole it kind of really sort of grates after a while and even if you wear sort of thicker socks I found that that's not really good so I'd sort of recommend sort of changing the insoles in these so in terms of the ratings I give the look and style a 3 out of 5 this is not for for everyone really but it's a, like I said it's a it's kind of like a hybrid trainer uh, hiking shoe and in terms of comfort I give it a, a 3 out of 5 it's not the most comfortable but it's comfortable enough and in terms of the quality I, I give that a 4 out of 5 I think for the price it's quite it's, it's quite good like you get good sort of materials and like I said the thicker outsole is going to keep you lasting for quite a while and the pricing I think it's just slightly too high that's why I've given it a 4 but overall I'll give the ratings a 4 out of 5 I think it's a, a, a really good sort of shoe to have and especially kind of the, the price range as well compared to something like a sort of Salomon or sort of another sort of trainer type hiking shoe they, they, they can be quite expensive so this is a, a good one to get especially if you can grab them on sale